Hi, this is Robin Nielsen with PCOS.com. I'm the Chief Wellness Officer here and we're going to do a little cooking in my kitchen today. And today we're going to make some Eggs Benedict because they're so good for you and it's so easy to make and it's pure paleo. So it's great for PCOS, Eggs Benedict are great for hormone balance, um, and they're especially good because when you poach the eggs for Eggs Benedict, it doesn't open up the yolk, and so the yolk doesn't get oxidized, so it's even better for you. But we're gonna keep it really simple today. So right now, I'm getting ready to poach the eggs. I have some water in this pot, and it's only about that much filled with water because you don't need it that deep to actually poach eggs. And then what I do is I take a little raw apple cider vinegar, and I'm gonna put that in the water to help the eggs, keep the egg whites from separating. So I put maybe a tablespoon in there. And while I'm waiting for the water to get hot, I'm going to prepare my bowl. And what I do with the Eggs Benedict is I actually use spinach as the foundation instead of a muffin. And you can ask for this at a restaurant too, it's really fabulous. So I just take a big handful of spinach and I put it here in the bowl. And then we're gonna put our eggs on top. Today I'm not gonna use ham or um, salmon, so you can use Canadian bacon, you can use smoked salmon as the base, so you can actually warm that up and put that right on top of the spinach and then you can put your poached eggs on top of that. Today I'm just gonna put the poached eggs on top of the spinach and then show you how to make a quick, yummy, delicious, very tangy hollandaise sauce. So we've got our spinach, that's our carb, right? So we're trying to uh, make sure that we have carbohydrate, protein, and fat in our meals. So our spinach is great carb, it's also great fiber, and it has some great nutrients in it, some great minerals. Okay, so we have some spinach in there. And while we're waiting for the water to heat up, it's getting close, we can start making the hollandaise sauce. Okay, so now the water is just starting to boil. I'm gonna turn it down so it's not a rolling boil, because if you have a rolling, rolling boil, when you add your eggs, it'll break up the whites and make a mess of your beautiful poached eggs. So I'm gonna turn the water down now just a little bit. And then when you add the eggs, the eggs are cold, so it'll cool the water a little bit. So I'm just gonna add the eggs here. Oh my gosh, these eggs are so beautiful. So these are free range, local, organic eggs. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh my gosh, so pretty. So you can do two eggs. Uh, eggs have about seven grams of protein. These are bigger eggs, so they might have closer to eight grams of protein each. You wanna shoot for around 20 grams of protein for meal to make sure that you're getting enough protein for breakfast. You can have this for any meal, by the way. And so you could even do three eggs. You know, if you're feeling like you need some extra protein, go for it. So I'm just making, this is just a serving size for one right now. All right, so I'm, while those are cooking, those are gonna take, those will take maybe three to four minutes depending on how you like the yolk. I like mine kinda done, a little bit, little bit runny, but kinda done. So I'm just gonna watch them. And while I do that, I'm gonna take this lemon and make my delicious hollandaise sauce. So I've cut a lemon. One more quick kitchen tip, love these ceramic knives. And I think they're a lot more inexpensive now and you can find them a lot of places. So if you can, pick up a couple of these little kitchen ceramic knives. They stay sharp and they cut tomatoes and anything really, really easily. You never have to sharpen them. Okay, so I'm gonna take some mayonnaise. So this mayonnaise happens to be made with avocado oil. So it's a true paleo mayonnaise. There's no safflower, sunflower, corn oil in here. Really good ingredients. So excited to have found this. So we're just gonna take a little bit of mayonnaise. Maybe three tablespoons, four tablespoons. You don't have to be exact, because you're making it to taste. So I take a little mayonnaise, and then we're gonna make our hollandaise a little tangy. 
So I add some Dijon mustard, just a little bit. And make sure that your Dijon mustard doesn't have any extra ingredients. It is just mustard, okay? And then I put just a little bit of that, maybe, maybe a third of a teaspoon. And then I take the lemon. I'm gonna put a little in a little lemon squeezer and just squeeze some lemon, fresh lemon juice in there. Oh my gosh, it's so delicious. All right, so now we have our the makings of our hollandaise sauce. And I take my little handy whisk here and I'm just gonna whisk it up. Okay, and it's gonna get all creamy and delicious. Oh my goodness. All right, so now I've got this really creamy, beautiful hollandaise sauce that took what, maybe 30 seconds to make? Okay, maybe a minute. But now we have to taste it, right? We always taste everything. So I'm just gonna taste a little bit of it. Oh, that's so delicious. To make sure that it's just the tangy that you want. If you don't like it so tangy, then use less Dijon mustard, less lemon juice. You could just use mayonnaise if you want, but it won't be quite as saucy. So we need a little bit of lemon juice, I think, either way. Okay, so now I'm gonna check my eggs. Getting very close. Oh yeah, so my eggs are about ready. So I'm just gonna turn it off, bring my, my bowl of spinach, and I might have Canadian bacon on here or a little smoked salmon even some chicken, thinly sliced, any, any little piece of meat if you want. Any other vegetables too would be lovely. Sometimes I put a side of sauerkraut on. So you just put your little eggs on top. Okay, and so now you have your beautiful poached eggs on top. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the hollandaise sauce on. Then you just drizzle this on, right? Oh my goodness, it is the best. This is a secret family recipe. So you are so, I'm so honored to be able to share this with you. You're so lucky. So there it is. There's your beautiful quick um, eggs benedict. And again, you can put on some, um, some Canadian bacon or some smoked salmon underneath it. You can add some, some little potatoes if you wanna roast some potatoes and put those on the side, really fabulous. And quick and easy, and you've got your protein, fat, and carb, right? So it's a great hormone balancing meal for PCOS. All right, so your to-do this week is to make some quick and easy eggs benedict. Um, the hollandaise sauce, again, is some amazing mayo made with avocado oil and your Dijon mustard and your beautiful lemon, and that's it. And then you poach your eggs with a little bit of apple cider vinegar to make sure that the, that the whites don't split up, and you've got a beautiful, delicious meal. Yum! All right, see you next week.